are now questions about whether Prince Andrew should be stripped of his royal title and effectively retire completely. Yeah. Joining us out to discuss this is former royal butler Paul Burrell, uh, Tom Slater, who's a Republican, and journalist Eve Pollard, who's... Well, we're interested to see what V thinks. Eve, let me start with you, because you and I both run newspapers, uh, same group, actually, and... Did yeah, we've you work been... for Jelaine's dad? Uh, I didn't, actually. I came in after Robert Maxwell fell off that boat, but um, I met her briefly at a book launch in New York. Very charming, very vivacious. You know, you could see she was sort of this magnetic Manhattan socialite. Very different take now you would have on Ghislaine Maxwell. She appears to be the, the sort of fulcrum for a lot of Epstein's paedophile behaviour, bringing in underage girls and so on. It's all and allegations it's... at this stage, but that certainly seems to be yep. what her position in, in his world was. What do you make of the scandal? What do you make of the dramatic decision to get Andrew out of public life? And should he retain his HRH title, given that Diana, when she divorced Charles, was ordered to give it up, something that I know, and Paul will, I'm sure, confirm this, hurt her very deeply? Well, first of all, of course, that was a car crash. I mean, I can't watch that interview no. now where you think, why would you do 50 minutes with Emily? Yeah. Why would you not be prepped? And why would your first sentence not be, which mine would be today, the people who I really worry about this is the alleged victims. But you have got a royal prince who has never had anything questioned and obviously went into that interview without being aware mm. that he needed being prepped because obviously nobody had sat down and said, first thing, sir, you've got to say this. Um, and I feel very sorry for him because he's lived a life miles away from any real discussion. As you say, funnily enough, I talked to Jelaine, funnily enough, of course Jelaine and he would have bound to be mm. talking about... Should he uh, lose Jeffrey. the HRH? I don't see the point. I mean, I thought it was very unfair, in a way, but it's nearly 30 years ago that Diana lost mm. HRH. It seemed to be an unnecessary vilification for a marriage that had not worked for various But once reasons. you set the precedent, <clears throat> Paul Burrell, mm -hmm. for removing an HRH title from someone who's been... who's had it bestowed upon them, whatever the reason, yes. why shouldn't Andrew now lose his, given that Diana had to lose his... So, and indeed, I think he's Andrew's, in a different position. And Andrew, Andrew, well, 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 and Andrew's own, wife, Andrew's own wife... Yes. Sarah Ferguson, his ex-wife, had hers removed. Bestowed yes, upon because them. she's divorced from the royal family, and Diana was divorced from the royal family. Mm. They were not part of the institution. Well, we don't make people in normal life give up the the title they get. If you marry somebody in this it's... country and you get divorced, you're allowed to legally keep but their he, name. But he's course, a royal prince. Would, would he's we call a royal him Andrew Duke. Windsor? I mean, he's is that what we're normal person? That's exactly what we would call him. He's not a normal person. He's, he's well, we know that from the interviews. <laughs> he's, but... he's a member of the royal family. He, he cannot lose his prince's title. He was born with that. He cannot yeah. lose. His Duke's title, the Queen bestowed that upon him. The, the, but the Queen can wedding. take away a title. She yes, has that she power. Can. She it has does. happened to other people. But this is her son, her favourite right. son. She's a 93 year old mother, as well as being a But she just fired him from civil duty. But that must have hurt yes, her quite does. a lot. Okay, Tom says you think he should I don't, be. I think I may have miscounted. I don't know that you're a Republican. Right? Uh, yes, you are a Republican. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So on the question Ooh. of should he lose his HRH title, I think they should all lose their HRH right. title. But that's a slightly side. Issue. I think what we've been talking about here is a perfect example of how screwed up the whole nature of monarchy is. Because if you could imagine a politician, a public official, even a CEO of some sort of company, um, behaving in the way that Andrew has done, obviously he should be innocent until proven guilty. But even that interview, you know, not only did it stretch credibility with some of the excuses he was putting forward, but it really insulted people's. Well, he was lying, he's lying through his back teeth about most of it because exactly. immediately the but internet, he... the internet brought the receipts. Exactly, it showed him sweating, party, showed him without his jacket, showed, showed, showed all the things, but all the things he said he never does. He's, he's never we're, been, we're, been used to being put on the spot. Well, this is, yeah. a, this is and, exactly it because when uh, you're a monarch, you have your position by dint of the accident. Yeah, but there's a big but. Here's my but to you, which is about on the question of the future of the monarchy. I've just spent uh, some very pleasant hours watching the third series of The Crown. And it dealt with all sorts of tumultuous moments, including, for example, the Aberfan disaster. Yes. And what it reminded me... I mean, the Queen is a remarkable woman who's barely put a foot wrong in mm -hmm. her entire, you know, six, seven decades now on the throne. But what the royal family at their best do is they are people who unify the country mm -hmm. and who comfort and console the country. Yeah. And that is actually, particularly in these very fractured mm. times, a hugely important role. And you could argue that financially they pay for themselves in terms of all the tourism that comes here and so on. So they're kind of a free, uh, a free front 
family for mm -hmm. us in times of good times and bad. Royal weddings mm. go around the world and put us on a great... All the pageantry and pomp mm. of the country. Are you millions saying that Prince Andrew has lost <clears throat> that touch, that yes. ability? Yes, I'm saying that the public, from all the polls I'm seeing, do not want to see him at mm. Trooping of yeah. the Colour. Andrew already represents hundreds of charities, mm. all of which have now bailed on him. He doesn't have that charity option because no charity wants to be associated with a guy who appeared they to be sucking up to a paedophile. But, also but, the, the... but I feel that Andrew could actually work. I mean, no, he can't be the person who comes along. So what does he go, do, though? Go and start golf clubs. He'll play golf. Kids. But the, go and the do level something of, for the people that will help The level of entitlement he's shown throughout this process, though, when he was forced to step down from his royal duties, it was quite widely briefed that he was planning to come back. Even today, as we're hearing that, you know, these hundreds of charities, have, he's cut ties with them, he's still saying this might still be temporary. This is the nature of monarchy. It breeds a sense of entitlement. Paul, Paul, this let, me, privilege, Paul, that's what it is. Well, let me ask you this, Paul. I mean, you were there when, 21 Diana, years, when yeah. Diana gave her panorama interview. Yes. And that had a similar bombshell mm, effect. Yes. But that was really because she revealed her own adultery and she she said Charles she was honest. Yeah, she said Charles wasn't fit to be king, which yes. was the thing that really incensed the Queen. Mm -hmm. And three weeks later, the Queen wrote to her saying, you've got to get divorced. And Charles, as part of the divorce, said, mm -hmm. OK, you're going to lose your HRH. Yep. So that was the sequence of events. Yep. But there's a big difference between that bombshell mm -hmm. BBC interview mm -hmm. and this one. And the difference here is... Diana wasn't part of any great, or nor was Charles or anybody else, no. part of a huge criminal investigation. No. One of the Queen's sons actively being his friend before, during and after a conviction yes. for traducing a 14-year-old girl for prostitution. Mm. But he may not be involved. Well, he's involved to that extent. Yes, he is. He, is. he, was he gave the best support the best to a convicted paedophile. The best thing he can do is to give an interview to the FBI, and if he, if he has any knowledge, which will help convict... Um, this paedophile ring, mm -hmm. and he should give it to them. He should. Because he, he cannot avoid that due process mm -hmm. because he's a member of the royal family. He is not above the law. He is like every one of us in that respect. Only the Queen you is You know him better law. than any of us, right? <clears throat> I do. I mean, he came over so dim in that interview. Well, and so kind of <clears throat> entitled Pierce, and you know arrogant. the way it works. You know the way it works. The Queen is the mothership. Mm. And the royal, members of the royal family are all satellites which revolve around the mothership. I've met him over several years. He is, as you say, he seems isolated from mm. the rest of the family. Mm. This is the problem, of course, with the spare. This is the problem yes, it's the same. you it's see perhaps with Harry, who's done mm. brilliantly <clears throat> with the Invictus Games and everything, knowing what to do because you've got one person who's so important, yeah, the heir, mm. and then the rest of you. It's like having a favourite in the family who, frankly, doesn't get fed mm -hmm. because everybody... I mean, he's the only one who does get fed because everybody else doesn't matter. My feeling... It's up to Andrew. I mean... This will have been a terrible shock to him mm. and his family. And he... Well, the Jeffrey Epstein should have, the scandal should have been a terrible shock to exactly. him much yeah, longer ago. Yeah. I agree. The, the phrase world's tiniest violin comes to mind when mm. I think about feeling sorry for Prince Andrew in this yeah. situation. I think he should be able to clear his name as, but as a private citizen. And I think, again, this should be used as an opportunity to reflect this is the nature of monarchy. Turn the palaces into museums, turn the residences into weather spoons. You see, my, my problem with it is, I don't see how on. he clears his name given we now know that after Epstein was convicted of paedophilia, he went to his home in Manhattan to apparently say goodbye for four days of partying, right, with this guy who's a convicted paedophile. How do you clear your name from that? Party. I mean, that... all you can really do is just disappear for a bit yeah. and hope everybody moves on. Well, I that's I, true. I mean, I that... that and he said history. himself, that was the one thing he did say, mm. that he regrets doing that. See, I don't feel sorry for him, Paul, in the way I, you said... No, well, I don't feel no, sorry for him. Paul I feel sorry for her Sorry Majesty. for the Queen. Oh, yeah, because you... And I also feel sorry for his daughters. Yes. yes. Who actually are charming, yes, lovely I girls, agree. beautifully brought up. And one of them is about to get married mm -hmm. in a few months' time. Yes. Which is what, a blight on What's that going to be like? She was hoping for a televised <clears throat> ceremony like, That's a, not gonna like a sister. Are we going to have Andrew no. walking her down the aisle on I prime time TV? So. It's, it's not going to happen. So I feel sorry for them. Yes. You know, it's, the whole thing is horrible. What do you think the Queen thinks when she comes through at nine o'clock with her wireless mm -hmm. every morning for her breakfast and table and she sees the papers, Times Telegraph Express, well, you know her. Mirror. You know her better than we do. And she what, flicks what through them. She be and she'll be beside herself. She's a mother and a and, grandmother. And that picture of them and riding together told you that, everything. That See, my, my mother said to me, it's interesting, because my mother's quite a good litmus. She loves the royal. She camped on the Mall for Diana and Charles's wedding and Andrew and Fergie's. And she ran me and said, you know... You've got to think, this is yes. her son. Yes. Yep. This is her son. Yes. Yep. And this is a woman who also has had to defend the indefensible with her son. <laughs> so I got where she was going here. But I love words, your mother. A mother's love is unconditional. Yes. Correct. So although the Queen will have had to act in this way, yes. her inherent love for her son won't have changed. And he's if anything, it might have son. hardened.
He's her favourite son too. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Well, for what Andrew reason? can have anything. Why is he the favourite son? Because he came at a time in her life when she needed that to happen. Mm -hmm. There was a huge gap between Charles and Anne, and then Andrew came along, and it was a blessing for her. And she was more of a mother to Andrew, I think, than she was to. You know what it has first all done? Two. I think it's given them, it would have given all the royals a massive wake up call. I agree. Yes. You know, and it will ferment republicanism, no yeah. question, in a certain way. You know, the Queen is 93, mm -hmm. Prince Philip is 97. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a changing of the guard mm -hmm. coming. There is. We don't know when, but it will be coming. And it will be a seismic change for this country. Mm. You know, I, I've only ever had one monarch in my lifetime. Yes. Correct. And I'm not a young man anymore. So, you know, this is all coming. And how the next generation behave and how the public react to very important. Well, the Meghan royals. and Harry, with yes, their yeah. incessant complaining yes. and whining and no, so the they've got to look at this and go, you know what? You play with the public affection at your peril. Mm. You do, but on the other hand, if you go to any news agent anywhere in the world, I mean, yep. virtually, who will you see on the cover? Hugely popular. Scenes? Biggest stars in the world. They are, they are huge. And it's the fairy tale yeah. everybody yes. wants to believe in. Yeah, no but like all fairy tales, Real life isn't a fairy tale, is it? No. Some have a happy ending.